Lonnie's in the demo lab preparing to demonstrate laser-induced fluorescence. Fluorescence occurs when high-energy photons are absorbed and lower-energy photons are emitted. Lonnie will start with an ultraviolet laser that's higher energy than the visible region. As the ultraviolet laser passes through this blue solution, ultraviolet photons are absorbed and blue photons are emitted. Here, ultraviolet photons are absorbed and photons in the green are emitted. Here, ultraviolet photons are absorbed while photons in the yellow are emitted. And ultraviolet photons stimulate the emission of photons in the red region in the final solution. Now let's try that same experiment with a lower energy laser. This is blue in the visible region. So in order for fluorescence to occur, we have to absorb a high energy photon and emit a lower energy. So here, blue laser is transmitted through the blue solution, but blue photons are absorbed here and photons in the green are emitted. Here, blue photons stimulate the emission of photons in the yellow. And in the final solution, photons in the blue region stimulate the emission of photons in the red region. One final laser, a green laser, so even lower in energy of photons, lower than ultraviolet and blue photons. So the green laser, insufficient to stimulate emission in the blue, and the green laser transmitted through the green solution, and the green laser stimulating emission of yellow photons from this solution, and the green laser stimulating emission of photons in the red region from the final solution. So the laser-induced fluorescence demonstrated by lasers and a colored solution.